from here onwards the questions are having the integer value answer the question number 21 the velocity v versus displacement x graph of a particle moving along x axis is given the acceleration of the particle at x equal to 1 meter is minus n by 8 meter per second square find the value of n first we need to find out the function how the velocity is changing as a function of x it's very clear v is minus 5 by 2x plus 5 this is the velocity as a function of position differentiating that part I will have the acceleration as minus 5 by 2 dx by dt dx by dt mean the velocity that means minus 5 by 2 5 minus 5 by 2x this is the value of acceleration acceleration we need to find out at x equal to 1 putting the value of x equal to 1 I will have dv by dt would be minus 5 by 2 and this part yet again 5 by 2 it is 5 by 2 or it is minus 25 by 4 comparing this answer with minus n by 8 that means denominator is 8 I will be multiplying by the factor of 2 that means minus 50 by 8 so value of n is coming out to be 50 so question number 21 value of n is 50 that's the answer now let's see the question number 22 Question number 22 here. The acceleration A of a particle starting from rest varies with time t according to the equation A is equal to t plus 4, where A is in meter per second square and t is in second. We need to find out the velocity at t is equal to 3 seconds and it should be in meter per second. Straight away, I would say acceleration should have been written down as dv by dt, dv by dt, and it's given as 2t plus 4. At initial time, the velocity was how much it is 0 so this is dv is equal to 2t plus 4 dt integral has to be performed 0 to 3 second and 0 to v or this value v is equal to it is 2t square by 2 that means t square plus 4t 0 to 3 so v is equal to it is 9 plus 12 and it is coming out to be 21 meter per second so for question number 22 the correct answer is 21 meter per second that is the velocity at t is equal to 3 second now let's move to question number 23 question number 23 a particle starts from rest from origin and moves along x-axis the acceleration a versus t graph is as soon its x coordinate at t is equal to 8 second is in meter that means we need to find out the x coordinate in meter at t is equal to 8 second as the particle start from rest with expression 2 meter per second square up to 5 second it must have traveled a distance of s1 I am writing here s1 is equal to 1 by 2 a is 2 and t being 5 that means 25 it is coming out to be 25 meters up to here then at this time its velocity must have been 2 into 5 that is 10 meter per second from here onwards the particle now is having the retardation that is 2 meter per second square the value of retardation this is the time is 5 second so it moves with the retardation of 2 meter per second square for 3 further second so this distance I'm saying it to be s2 well s2 I would write down as 10 t that is 10 t here is 3 second minus 1 by 2 a being 2 and it is 9 so 30 minus 9 s2 is 21 so total distance from here to here it is s1 plus s2 that is the x coordinate of the particle s1 being 25 plus it is 21 I would say it is 46 is the x coordinate of the particle at t is equal to 8 second now let's take on to question number 24 in question number 24 a ball is projected vertically upward with velocity u says that the displacement in fourth second is twice of that in the fifth second the value of u in meter per second is, is we need to take the value of g to be 10 meter per second square question is very easy 
well the particle was initially projected from here let's say this is up to the 3 second this is 4 second and this is 5 second if initial velocity was u distance traveled up to 3 second would be u into 3 minus 1 by 2 a 5 into square of 3 that is 9 s4 would be u into 4 minus 1 by 2 a t square it is 5 1 by 2 a t square that is 16 similarly s5 would be 5 u minus 5 here t square is 25 it's been given distance traveled in fifth second that is s5 minus s4 is 5u minus 4u that is u this minus this would be 25 minus 16 is how much it is 9 so it is 45 this is the distance traveled in fifth second and the distance traveled in four second is s4 minus s3 it is again u minus 16 minus 9 it is 7 into 5 that is 35 so what it's been said displacement in fourth second is twice that of fifth second this is the displacement in fourth second this is the displacement in fifth second twice of this part is actually the displacement of fourth second so it is 2u minus 90 is u minus 35 here I'll be getting u to be equal to 90 minus 35 is equal to 55 meter per second so for question number 24 initial speed of the particle is 55 meter per second that's the answer now let's take on to question number 25 question number 25 graph of the function y is equal to 3x square is shown in figure area of the stated region we need to find out this area here if this point being 212 y distance is 12 if I am taking this is a small region here. this distance being y this is 12 so area of this much of the part I would say ds it is 12 minus y into dx y this one and this portion was 12 so total area would be integral of this portion it is 12 x minus value of y was how much it is 3 x square dx that means it will be 3 integral of x square is x cube by 3 value of the limit that has to be placed here is from x equal to 0 to 2 so the area of that portion I'll be getting here 12 into 2 minus this will cancel out it is 8 that means 24 minus 8 it is 16 unit whatever the unit here 16 square unit I would say so for question number 25 16 square unit is the area of the studied region that is the correct answer that's the end of the question here and I hope you must have enjoyed it so I wish you all the best for your further preparation. Thank you and bye.